Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Willie. Today we went fishing, me and my wife went fishing, and we caught about five or six mangrove snappers, nice size mangrove snappers. We caught a lot more than that. I mean, we caught some sheep's head, we caught some other snappers, but I threw them back because at the time I didn't think I wanted to keep any fish at the time. So we ended up keeping about five or six of them. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I like to fillet my snappers and I'm also going to show you guys how I like to cook my snappers as well. So guys, stay tuned. All right guys, so we have our mango snapper right here. They're very fresh, so it's going to be very easy to fillet them. What I like to do, myself personally, I give myself a cut right here behind this fin, straight, straight across. Bring it across like that right there. Boom, got that. Put it right underneath there, right on top of that spine. And I just take the tip of it and I follow that spine all the way down like this. Just follow it down. If you got a good fillet knife, this would be very easy for you. I'll like follow that bone all the way down until I get back to the tail. And I'll just poke through like this. And I also follow just like this. Follow that rib, the bone, just like that. If you follow the bones just like this, and I keep it at a nice angle too, as you can see, there's no meat left on that spinal cord. One more cut there, underneath, just like this. Let the tip, of, let your blade do all the work. Poke it through at the end. Go back. Cut just like that. You have a perfect fillet. Set that to the side, just like this. There's nothing on that right there. Flip it over. I do the same exact thing. I do a cut down this way, right behind that fin. Just like that. Then I get right behind that cut, the tip of the knife. Get right on top of that spine and bring it down just like this. You know, all I like to do is just pull back just a little bit. Switch cut that through. Pull back just a little bit there. And like I said, just follow. Let your blade do all the work. Just like that. Let your blade do all the work. Follow that rear page down. Just pull that off just like that. Cut that there. Perfect, another fillet right there. Just like that, guys you can see through that fish there's nothing else left but a stomach that is a see-through that's how you play a fish all right guys down to my last snapper here let's just stop and sharpen my knife but it's the last one so should be good enough to do this one like I said guys just let your knife do the work Right over that rib cage like that. Down. Just like that. Perfect for life. 
Take them over. Same exact thing. Uh, that one, I popped up the stomach on that one. Like I said, you'll know when you pop that stomach. That smell comes out of there. Just a little bit of meat on that one. You start rushing, that's what happens. Start missing meat. It's not a lot though. I just like take my time. Make sure I get all the meat off of them. That's it guys. Now what I like to do is just take my wash area, wash up, clean the fillets really good, rinse them off really good. And sometimes I let them soak in some milk or something for a couple hours or maybe even a day. So, I'm going to get these all washed up. I'll be back to you when I get ready to season them. Alright guys, they're all clean. All I like to do is just pat them dry. Dry this one off. All I like to do is just pat them dry a little bit. Not too much because you still want your seasoning to stick to them. This is only from, like I said, five snappers, guys. And look how much meat you end up getting off of them. All right, one more. Just pat them off like that. All done. This is area off a little bit. Take some soap. Wash your hands. Got that slime and stuff off of them. Let's get our seasonings. Alright guys, I'm coming back now. I'm gonna show you guys what kind of seasoning we normally put on the fish. Typically we'll do a batter, bread it, flour it, you know, deep fry it pretty much like that. I mean we still can do that, but today I'm just gonna season the fish directly so it has that flavor right on the fish. I don't like to over season my fish because I like to taste the fish, especially when it comes to snappers. So today we got some Cajun seasoning right there, put a little bit of that, adobo, more like an all-purpose seasoning, and also some fresh ground pepper. Should be delicious. Alright guys, let's start with a little bit of pepper, very lightly, because this is really fresh ground pepper. You don't want to over pepper this. Just lightly dust it, just like that. I like to do both sides first and then flip it over and do the other side. A little bit of Cajun seasoning. Actually, I'll put some of this in my hand like this. Just pinch it off. Just like this. Pinch it off a little bit more. 
these holes are kind of big on this shaker here. Don't want to put too much on it. We don't like too, too spicy. Just like that. A little bit more. Just dust it over there like that there. Uh, it's not really coming up. Just like that there. Then we'll come back with a little bit of adobo, all-purpose seasoning. Not too heavy, still want to taste the fish. But you also want it to be seasoned pretty good, so. And plus that just depends on you, what your liking is for how you like your fish. Everybody likes them different. You can put more Cajun on it. You know, you can put more pepper and salt and all that, but I love to be able to taste the fish. I don't want to overpower my fish. So, a little bit more pepper. This is fresh ground pepper. Heavy on that. Boom. Cajun seasoning. Oh, these holes are really big. I'm trying to be gentle with it. There we go. It was all purpose seasoning. Just like that. That's it. That's, that's all the seasoning I'm gonna put on like that right there. That's all you need. All right, guys, got a season. I put um, about two teaspoons or so of uh, olive oil in the pan, and I'm just waiting to it get hot, which is already hot now. So now I'm just gonna take our fish and slowly add it into the pan right there. I'm not let it straighten up on me. Just like this. There we go. I don't want to overcrowd the pan either. As soon as you put them in here, it's going to drop that temperature down. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, so get me a, a spatula out. Guys, fish do not take that long to cook. Should only take about two or three minutes, maybe, per side. They're small pieces of fish, so they're not going to take that long to actually cook through. Put that right there for a second. You don't want to cook this on really high heat because you're cooking so fast that it cook from both sides all the way through from one side. So, just want to take your time. Which does probably about ready to, yep. That's ready to go. Just like that. Just like that there. Turn it up just a little bit more. Turn it down a little too low. Probably gonna take about another minute or so, maybe a minute and a half, to make sure they're all the way through. Some pieces are a little bit thicker in the middle, so I had to turn up the heat just a little bit. Mmm, seasoning tastes good. Alright, guys, these are done. Take them like this. Ooh, falling apart. That's when you know they're done right there. Just there. Oops, come on. 
go. There we go, just like that. This one's already starting to fall apart, so I know it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get all the pieces out of this one. I guess that would be the taste pieces right there. All right, got those out. Set those over there. And put our other ones in. At this point, your pan's going to be really seasoned right now. From the first couple pieces you put in. Alright guys, gonna flip these over really fast. Right there. See breaking every time on me. Guys, these pieces are really small. Not gonna take that long to cook. Actually, they almost get cooked all the way through from the first side, but. Oh, yeah. They're almost done. Oh, yeah. This piece is almost. This piece is done here. Let me pull that piece out. I don't wanna overcook my fish. This piece is definitely done. These couple pieces too. point I'm gonna go ahead and drop my other two pieces in get those starting that one needs about another probably 20 seconds or so these snappers cook really fast guys yep he's done that one's done. I'm gonna pull him off. Oh yeah, it's starting to break apart on me. Woo. Snapper is so sweet meat. These are small pieces, so they're ready to be flipped already. Oh yeah. He's got about another minute and they're ready to come off too as well. Alright guys, these are ready to come out. The last two pieces here. this off and that's what you got right there guys flaky white meat you can see that delicious meat right there mm. Mm -hmm. guys absolutely amazing Woo! that's delicious
guys, and that's it right there. That's our, well, half a catch and cook because we forgot the GoPro today. So, but guys, it doesn't take much to go out, catch some fish, and make a good, you know, fried fish up there. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. Sapper is one of my favorite fish to eat, period. I mean, they're just, you just can't beat it. You just can't beat that. Wow. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, drop some comments below, and then just subscribe to the channel. I mean, we're gonna do more stuff like this, more catch, clean, and cooks, more fishing. Um, we're gonna try to start doing some more fishing different ways and different areas for you guys. I don't wanna stick to the same areas. I wanna go out and fish more, probably do more beach fishing, pier fishing, stuff like that, things that I know you guys will like. So guys, till next time, peace.